Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to just do a couple of examples on direct and inverse proportion to show you the difference between the two formulas. So let's have a look at example 1. So we've got y is directly proportional to x, which you can write down like this with this symbol which looks a bit like a fish. And when x equals 4, y equals 28, find the formula for y in terms of x. So what we do next then, once we've written this down, is turn this into a formula. So on our next line we put y equals k times x. Okay, and then all we need to do now is try to figure out what k is. And to get k, you can use the two numbers that you're given in the question to find that value of k. So if we sub these carefully into our formula, so y is 28, so if we put that first, and then it's k times by 4. So we need to find what that k is, so if we divide by 4 on both sides to get rid of the times 4, 28 divided by 4 is 7, so 7 is equal to k. So we just need to go back to that line, and fill that 7 in, so we get y equals 7x. Sometimes you might need to draw out the graph of that. So let me quickly sketch it out. So if y is directly proportional to x, it would basically be a straight line going upwards from the origin. So as x increases, the y coordinate increases too. So let's have a look at example 2 then. So y is inversely proportional to x this time. And when x equals 9, y equals 2, find a formula for y in terms of x. So this time we can write that first sentence down as y fish 1 over x. So we do it like this this time because it means as x increases, y is getting smaller. So we now turn this into a formula. So it would be y equals k divided by x. So when you do inverse, it's always a divide. Uh, when it's direct, it's always a times. So again, we just fill these two numbers in that we're given to find the value of k. So when y is 2, x is 9. So this time k has been divided by 9, so to find k we need to times both sides by 9. So 2 times 9 is 18. So that is our value of k. And then we can just put it back into the formula that we had on the second line. So we get y equals 18 over x. So again if we just sketch out this graph. So with direct proportion, it will always be a curved graph going downwards. Okay, and that is the difference then between direct and inverse proportion. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.